Also on the show, where and how much did China intrude into Indian territory post Doklam? Why has Australia called Beijing's policies a threat to the entire region? The dawn of a new era in Zimbabwe. What does Nangagwa's ascent to power mean for the people of this country? Why some European countries benefit from the political instability in Germany and want Angela Merkel's coalition bid to fail? How Yemen remains one of the world's most underreported catastrophes. A special report on how hospitals are on the brink of collapse. But first to the big story that's developing internationally. More than 200 people have been killed in an attack on a mosque in Egypt's Sinai province. According to eyewitness reports, terrorists detonated bombs and then opened fire on worshippers as they were fleeing from the Al Rawada Mosque after Friday prayers. Egyptian President Abdul Fattah al Sisi has held emergency talks with security officials. This is the deadliest attack of its kind since an Islamist insurgency in the peninsula was stepped up in 2013. In fact, according to the latest reports, uh, the number of those who've been killed has gone up to 235. And this remains a developing story. Remember, a lot of people uh, gather at mosques for Friday prayers. And initial reports said dozens have been killed, many others wounded. Now that number has gone up, according to some, to 235. And these are the first images that we have of smoke bellowing out uh, of the mosque premises within moments of this attack. The first reports came in about uh, three hours back and since then we've seen rapid developments. For one, the death toll has gone up steadily. And this happened right after the Friday prayers ended. This is Bir al Abid the, in the Sinai uh, province of Egypt. The Egyptian state run uh, Nile TV re reports that this is one of the deadliest attacks ever carried out, uh, carried out against civilians in this province. At least two explosions were reported. We understand that gunmen were waiting outside the mosque and they opened fire at worshippers as they fled Friday prayers. So this was a well-coordinated strike. Uh, two explosions followed by gunfire opened on worshippers who tried to flee the site. We understand the gunmen had set up ambush locations. They opened fire on ambulances as they were transporting the wounded worshippers from the Al Rawada Mosque. And this happened before the arrival of security forces. government has described it as a terrorist attack. Uh, these are improvised explosive devices that were used, causing considerable damage to the mosque structure and leaving many people dead. This mosque is the birthplace, we understand, of Sheikh uh, Eid al-Jariri, who is a Sufi cleric. Many call him the founder of Sufism in the Sinai Peninsula. No no uh, organization, no outfit has taken responsibility so far for this strike. And these are the latest pictures that we have. A very, very dramatic developments in Egypt uh, this Friday. Worshippers attacked right after Friday prayers ended.